Riley. I'm like, oh, it's DLT. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, bro. Like, I hate All him. All right. Now we have uh, Bolero on the other side of things. Now, Bolero is a player who's been doing much, much better in the scene here. Uh, I know he's in, I see him all the time in Westchester where he's actually been getting some really solid wins. I know he's been getting top eights, top fives uh, at Encore. And his Zelda is looking crispier and crispier by the week, so. Yeah, same at Waypoint too. Like he's going to the Waypoint tournaments. That's yeah, he's just been fiending the locals and you could see the results of that training because his Wins have been getting better and better, and right now he's doing a really good. He just has a good start here against Riley. Yeah, and uh, Riley, in his own, in his own respect, in his own regard, like he's been doing pretty well. Also, oh god, um, he's been, oh god, he's not winning anymore. <laughs> Our set happened. We actually almost died. Um, yeah, he's been coming to Zeno. Wow, good read. He's been going to Zeno Le um, locals a lot more recently lately. Getting pretty good results. Um, I think he beat King King Arc. He beat King Arc at Zeno 200. Remember that. So. Okay. So, yeah, wow, the right. spacing on that, just barely being outside of the range. <laughs> it's now almost completely even in the percent window. Oh, another Arsene comes in, but a beautiful back air from Bolero is going to take the first stock. And now that he has that stock lead, he can take things maybe a little bit more comfortably. Uh, when Joker does it, it's going to be a little while before Joker gets Arsene. Which means that it's going to be a little while before he really can threaten with a actual kill. All right, good job getting that grab to neutral air. Actually, neutral air does do quite a hefty chunk of damage all on its own. Ooh, it's a little bit risky. I'm actually not unsure of the exact angle that Zelda. Oh, that was so good. He didn't do the same thing he did before because he would have Omega died for it right there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that does reflect, and he actually managed to parry the reflect. I love the way that Bolero is just playing this more safely, which means that eventually our send timer just runs out, as we see right there. And now 157, he can lose, to, or as he can die to quite a few things that Joker has. But it's going to be a lot harder for Riley. I can slick movement on that neutral B, and this lead is just being extended ever more so. Looks like Arsene is about to be online. No, it isn't, because he's actually going to lose that stock. A wonderful trap from Bolero. He finally, his first stock goes down, but he's up by an entire stock all by itself. Oh my god, how did he got Arsene in, in a, the blink of an eye. That was, that was a certain level of bravery he just showed right there. Just jumping without hitting any buttons. Right into our set. Okay. Riley only has about like probably one more interaction where our set is going to be available to him, as we see. And then as soon as it's gone, seventy-three percent already. And building, he's trapped at the ledge. Oh, what a good roll! Gets past Valero, meaning that he's in control right now. No jump. Uh oh! We did that cute little thing where you land on the ledge. <laughs> Liking the patience now from both players. Riley being much more careful about his when he actually goes in. You can see he's jumping at oh he's jumping at Polero, but not wanting to commit unless he feels oh wow that was so tricky. That's I believe he could have ledge canceled if he wanted to, which is perhaps what uh, Riley was actually expecting. But he went straight down, straight into him, and the Ferrari's wind is actually going to take the first game for Polero. Actually, I don't know if that would have uh, been able to ledge cancel there. All right, regardless, it seems that we're going to be having FD as the game two option. Now, FD in general, it's the kind of stage where things get extremified. If you are a character that is good at juggling, you're going to get better at juggling on FD. There are no platforms to retreat to. If you're a character that has a superior neutral, your neutral is going to get better because there are no platforms in the way. It's just down, like, you know, just a simple one-stage platform. Now, I'm wondering who's going to benefit from this the most. Uh, 
This platform is definitely Bolero was doing a really good job ledge canceling with those platforms, so maybe that's what Riley is looking to limit. But at the same time, if he's caught, the landing is probably going to be much more difficult for him against Bolero when he has no platforms um, for himself to retreat to. Liking the Phantom Footstool, just keep him in the, or just keep him out of a bad situation. Oh no, an unfortunate SD. He just angled that up be a little bit wrong, and that's gonna possibly really cost Valero. He does even up that stock, but he could have maybe had an entire stock lead by this point if he had gotten that same lead. Well, regardless, he's now facing down against a low percent Joker. Now, Joker is the character where his kill power might not really be there. But at low percent, he still has plenty of combos before Arsene has a chance to rear his ugly head. And Arsene is ugly. You can at me about that one. And this is where FD is coming in. Much better for Riley. He's trapping Valero in the corner. And it feels like almost there's, like there's enough he can do to get out. But as I say that, a bit of an overextension from Riley might really cost him. Valero on stage. And the damage output from Zelda, as well as the kill power, is just so, so massive. Oh, really smart there. Delays the recovery, but... Right now, it, like if Bolero had, sorry, if Riley had managed to take a stock about 30 seconds ago, he would be at a complete stock lead. But even if he manages to kill Bolero right here, he's starting his next stock at about 90. I don't know if that was some questionable DI. I think you could see uh, from Bolero's reaction himself that maybe he could have done something more about that to survive. But. I think he's looking for possibly late hit of up air, in, sorry, late hit of up tilt into up air because that does do combo, I believe, at this percent. Oh, jab down smash. I'm pretty sure that's not true, but it's a cute little mix up nonetheless. And that arc centimeter is almost up to full. Valero needs to take this stock now, otherwise, he's going to be facing down a Pretty much max rage or send. Yeah, that is the situation. Let's see whether he can take a stock without anything really going bad. Up throw to actually do it. Yeah, if you don't have a lot, especially if you don't have a lot of experience playing against Zelda, you might forget that she does have kill throws available to her. Oh, the air dodge at the last second. So clutch. He could have eaten actually a huge amount of damage right there, but. Instead, he basically got Arsene charged all the way up very early on in this final stock in game two. The back hit of up tilt has... He's going for a lot, and it's always just been barely missing. Joker's frame data is just too good. Valero managing to find his opening. He is back into the middle of the stage. Oh, wow, what a read, though. Getting the forward smash, that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Valero looks a little bit peeved about how that last game went. Uh, he did have that, in, like, right off the bat immediately, he had that SD, so... Got to sort of shake that thing off and uh, move into Game 3 with fresh eyes, a brand new attitude for how to actually win the set. Why, hello there. Howdy. You want to introduce yourself to the nice people at home? Okay, hello, I am Jazzy G. Um, I'm here to commentate for you wonderful people. So I heard there was an SD. Is this game three or game This is two? game three. Uh, oh, Valero okay. won game one in, I think it might have been a two stock. It, it felt pretty convincing. Game two was pretty close, but uh, he had an early SD and on top of some other things, he kind of got very hungry for that, the up tilt especially. He was going forward a lot, and Riley was just playing around that option brilliantly. Oh, I think he wanted nice the sweet hit. Yeah, the strong hit of uh, back air would have been really big for him. But as it stands, this is pretty much our send online. Whoa, he's still at like sub 20%. Now, from what I know, I know most of the Zelda mains actually really do love this matchup. 
just because of how like easy it is for them to deal with Arsene. Like you already have Knight, and you have like a, these really good like zoning tools to so just keep um keep uh, what's it called Joker out. So I can really understand why they do love it. So I could definitely we've been seeing that from Bolero. However, the other side of things is that oh jeez. Um, a, he does have a reflector when he has a sand, but also when he traps Zelda at the corner, he's just able to throw out aerial after aerial, putting on this pressure. It seems so difficult for Zelda to get back any semblance of stage control. I'm going to be honest, I feel like he definitely could do, be, um, be doing a lot better with um, how he chooses to use Phantom, especially knowing that like um, he do also does have a reflector joker. And just kind of being aware that, like, once it's fully charged, it's kind of just, like, um, best to go for, like, a safe option to just jump to get out of the way so he doesn't get hit. And just kind of play around, like, what happens, like, there that could happen. And it's kind of just, like, you kind of want to be able to still play the game without worrying about whether you're going to get hit or not. And I'm assuming that was the teleport cancel. Yeah, he missed up the teleport cancel on his leg. really cost him. Oh, one of those hits does 20% the side B. And, oh. So when he's throwing out the... Now, one thing that I know Zelda can probably do is actually up B into him. Because he is locked into place once he has that animation of I've hit the thing. So maybe just going for a delay it just a tiny bit and then up B into him while he's dropping his uh, Rebel Guard. Might be able to bait him into a kill. Maybe he's saving that. It's very possible. I'd also like to point out how Valero, it looks like he's kind of giving him too much of a free arson. He's giving um Riley, is that his name? I'm sorry. A free arson charge. And it's kind of just like, he can kind of avoid that, but just like kind of making sure that Joker's scared to push buttons whenever he's like away from Zelda and not like at phantom distance. At the same time, it, as we said before, it seems that Valero, for the most part, is playing around our set pretty effectively. And it's like, do you give up your main game plan of you know throwing out these projectiles and setting up your wall uh, in order to not charge our set, or do you just take it as like you accept your fate? You're like, there are times where he's gonna rebel guard, and you know, very nice cut from the jump there. I think that was a jump. Oh, he read that spot dodge, but he brought that back in a little very bit nice. too late. Oh, I really, I didn't think that I would catch his um, what's it called, his uh, ghetto. That was really. I nice think there. actually he ran out of legend ability in the bottom hit. Yeah. Box. He... This is really scary for both characters. Dash attack is not enough to kill just yet, and that means that now Zelda has all of this damage. Good DI on the forward throw. Missed DI on that a few times in this uh, set already. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Bolero could definitely take a stock pretty early. Oh yeah, just I mean, considering like Phantom almost killed right there. At the very least, he's been consistently dishing out damage so that even if he does die here, upon respawning, uh, very nice. Riley is immediately threatened. Is that going to kill? Yes, Dark. very nice. And that's huge for Polero. Even though he, even though that drops, this is a one stock apiece. Game three. The, right there, that's the sort of thing where I think he was holding on to that. That's why he's been throwing out these projectiles. Letting him get our set because, yeah, he has our set, but already our set is half gone because of the damage he's taken. That's true. But that <laughs> if you're this gonna let your opponent get upset, scary. it is yeah, double-edged sword. 68%. That almost killed him too. Ooh. I think if he gets Ooh. back hit of up tilt, it could kill right now. That's why we're nice. saying go for it. Wow! Oh, wow, that killed. I'm not surprised that it killed, but still wow. But that wasn't even on the right side. It just said like that way, so he got the reverse hit of it. That's it. When? What? Is it reverse hit of it? Well, yeah, it can send you either one way or the other because he uh, he teleported to 
past him. He was teleported past him, which him. means that it, it, it would go. Yes, yeah, so oh, okay. he teleported so you, past him, which means okay. it always sends away from Zelda. So that's what I mean by reverse. I thought he kind of hit him at like the very like top right of Zelda. So no, that's top left. Okay. Or like 